The book of Proverbs is very rich in wisdom. It would be good if you haven't read it. If you put as a purpose for your life to read it, even if it is one proverb every morning. Open the book of Proverbs and read it. If you already read it, it's good to get back to it. Let's meditate on this proverb from chapter 20, verse 3. It is honorable for a man to stop striving since any fool can start a quarrel any fool can start a quarrel it's true king solomon knew what he was talking about any fool can start a quarrel gets involved with what they shouldn't get involved we will talk about this full in a minute. First, let's talk about the honorable man. It is honorable for a man to stop striving. What does it mean to stop striving? I will use an analogy from football. Those who don't know football very well, even though you might be a Brazilian, there's some who don't know football very well. There's an expression called 50-50 challenge. Is when the ball is rolling on the pitch, then two players from opposite teams run to the ball and kick it at the same time. And whoever wins the 50-50 is at an advantage. So when the rivalry is great, when the match is very important, and even when it's not that important, the truth is, even on Sunday league football, even on amateur football, this happens too. When the player really wants the ball, or, let's say, very determined, and he does not want to lose the advantage, he goes to the 50-50 ball with both feet. The tackle is dangerous because you can hit the other's foot or leg, you can even break it. Or if the other has an iron foot, you can even break yours. So the 50-50 ball is a dangerous tackle in football. That's why, usually, it's avoided. Because in that split second that the player must decide whether to get into that ball, whether he will put his foot forward, the thought comes, my foot is worth much more than this tackle. My foot must be well for me to be playing for a few years. My foot is worth much more than this tackle. If I lose this tackle, the consequence won't be great. But if I lose my foot, all my career is compromised. So the 50-50 challenge is like this matter that King Solomon is talking about, that the honorable men stop striving. In other words, there are matters in life that the best thing we should do is to avoid them. It's to think like this. I don't need to engage in this conversation, this debate, or to win this debate. I don't need that. You have to make that calculation that the player makes in a split second that he will decide whether to go into the ball, you need to think like this. What is more important, winning this issue or having peace, keeping the friendship, keeping my marriage, keeping the peace, the peace of mind? What is more important? But some make a big deal of everything. 
they make a big deal even of the smallest things. If the child did not close the toothpaste tube, the mother lashes out at the child. If the husband did not put the cup in the right place, she will lash out at him. If the woman did not answer him in a way that he likes, he will lash out at her. That's how you must talk to me. So many, instead of avoiding useless matters, they look for them. They raise these matters. They are hard people to deal with. They are people that are on the case of others. They are inconvenient. And usually, they don't have many friendships because their way chases people away, leads people to avoid them because they run towards these matters that don't matter. They make a big deal of many things that don't matter. There are things in life that they don't matter. When you put on a scale, there's many things that don't matter. It's not worth it. What do you need to put on a scale? On one side is the matter, right before you, the 50-50 ball. And on the other side is your peace, your marriage, your health, your life the environment, your job. So there's a side of useless things on the scale, but there's the other side that there are things way more precious. So the wise do this calculation in fractions of seconds on their head. They have a scale, a make-believe scale on their minds, and quickly they come to the conclusion. On one side, the useless things, the 50-50 ball. And on the other side, my life, my marriage, my health, my peace, my job, my security. What will I do? Which side of the scale will I choose? You know, even need to think much. That's why it only takes a split second. Of course, the wise would choose the side of the scale that is more valuable. That's why it says it is honorable for a man to stop striving. So things that don't matter in life, they don't matter that much. Things that only bring confusion. At times you want to win a debate. You want to prove that you're right. Do you know why? Just to comfort your ego just to comfort your vanity, to show that you know that you are good anyway. To focus on what matters is fruit of wisdom. To focus on what really matters is only for wise and intelligent ones. It's not for everyone, it's not for fools. To know to discard what is not good and to focus only on what is essential is things for wise ones. So the wise does not get involved with gossip, useless, futile things, these things that they don't matter, such as a 50-50 challenge. The second part of the proverb is also interesting. Since any fool can start a quarrel, opposite to this honorable man is the fool that gets involved in everything. He thinks he needs to know everything, he needs to get involved in everything. If he heard a rumor, he wants to call people. Listen, I heard about it, so tell me, tell me, tell me. The fool gets involved with everything. The fool enters where he was not invited. He's sniffing around prying with people. In the few times that he gets right because he found out something that was even important, because you get involved in everything, then it's natural for you to find at some point something important. But the few times that he has some positive result from his quarreling way of being, maybe this could even be the title of a film, Your Quarreling Way of Being. 
because of his prying way of being, what he extracts of negative results is way worse, is so negative, much more negative than any advantage that he could take, starting with the reputation of a quarreling person. Who likes a quarrelsome person? Honestly, do you like quarrelsome people? Who one day said, I want to fall in love with a quarrelsome person. I want to fall in love with a prying person. No one. But the quarreling person thinks that their way of being is a great advantage. He's even proud on being like that, but they are fools. And there's no even point of discussing or trying, you know, to convince them. And I know that my message will go over the head of this fool. I hope my message is that the candidates for fools who are at the beginning of this inclination to be quarreling, that they will may wake up and say, I'd rather be an honorable person and to stop striving. Are important choices in life that at first you may think it makes no difference. However, over time, your reputation is worth more than your bank balance. Don't forget this. Your reputation is worth more than your job, more than your bank balance, or your assets. Your good name is worth more than all that. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.